three, two. YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Coach Semi Thirty Five. You did what I'm saying. We hadn't done one of these in a minute, but we back. You feel what I'm saying? And we back with something for you. You did what I'm saying. We got the Black Ops Six trailer. We may not react to the whole 24 minutes. We might just, you know, kind of skip around. You know what I'm saying? See what the vibe is. But if you love this style of content, which I know you do, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? Drop a like, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so you know what's dropping. And as soon as it drop, you the first one to know. We live! Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Chat. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> yo, 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 wait. Okay, I'm all, I know I'm already stopping the trailer. I know I'm already stopping the trailer. Okay, you gotta let me know in the comments. Are you hyped for Black Ops 6 or nah? <laughs> are you hyped for Black Ops 6 or nah? You feel what I'm saying? I am hype. I am hyped for Black Ops 6, bro. I'm excited for this game to drop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Dude, I'm so hyped. Hello. Hello, and welcome to Treyarch in Los Angeles. And thanks for joining us today. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. Come on with it. For Black Ops 6, we really wanted to give ourselves some time to craft something truly great. Mm -hmm. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation across all parts of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been working here for over 20 years. Come on, OG. We have something special. That's OG right there. That's OG. <laughs> Talk to me, OG. Special on our hands with Black Ops 6. Yeah. I know that the team are excited to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovations across the entire game. Oh. It looks so real. It looks so real, bro. With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar era. Talk to the me. Early 90s. Okay. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the highest levels of the U.S. government. We love to see it. Branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time. You see how she put that emphasis on for forcing. <laughs> I love it. The oh, team has been up. meticulously crafting every aspect of this game to deliver the fun and attitude players expect from the Black Ops franchise. Talk to me. Multiplayer is a Corsair. force here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground. That's my guy right there. Omni movement system. Ooh. New way to push beyond your limits and move like an action hero. Yo, <laughs> so, yo, that is so tough. You can't tell me that's not tough. You can't tell me it's not. You'll see a sneak peek of that later today. Round based. Oh my gosh! Absolutely back and better than ever, and you can be sure it's full of surprises. With that, let's step into the mind-bending campaign experience we've been crafting with our partners at Raven. Oh my gosh, Chad, this is insane. This is insane. No back now. Every Call of Duty player has a favorite campaign mission. When we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. Ooh. We are bringing that action-packed blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. We are giving you more variety, more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. We can do this loud or quiet. Ooh. That's so smooth. The game is packed with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. It's a high-octane spy thriller where awesome. you're never sure who to trust and what's real. Yeah. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The U.S. is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere, and there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. 
When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, Ooh. but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2. That's so the lit. The aftermath of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. That That's so lit. It's something you should see. Black Ops 6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters. With veteran Frank Woods yeah. as a through line in our story. Yeah, yeah. OG. In this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. Yeah, boo. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA, often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. His protege is Troy Marshall, who's yeah. been making a name for himself in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Come on now. Marshall and Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. Okay. She's a born leader, fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. She got the headset and on. She to tough. Operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable to the CIA, whether they want to admit it or not. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. They soon realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on. Without any of their usual resources, they have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical yep. genius. Yeah, yeah. Gotta have the, the tech nerd. Law, a mysterious assassin. Gotta have the tech nerd. With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler, Ooh. who's gone missing for months, a former ally may have become a new enemy. For the Black Ops single player, this is giving me chills, bro. I can't lie. Mission variety and unique experiences. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. We aim to take players all over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within these missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold in multiple ways, giving players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. Talk to me. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk barter and manipulate Ooh. your way into different experiences Ooh. and think you'll want to replay levels to see them all yeah that's gonna be tough man that boy got some recoil on that gun Excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. Talk to me. The goal was to provide different challenges for the player. So whether they choose to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach, line them up right, you can take them both down with one shot. Nice and quiet. We've continued to push on what's possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. But caught off escape routes push on players location and force them to think on their feet oh, we love to see We've it created certain missions where we give you a high level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective one mission in particular takes place in a vast desert in iraq you and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the sas it's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created yo this music is crazy that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well we have a mission that takes place in an opulent casino in southern europe it's unlike any past mission in call of duty and what the player does in this space is totally unexpected and another one of our missions we have set in the harsh tundra of northern russia We are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. The RC car, yes, sir! Adrenaline stem, homing knife. That's so tough. Disruptor. The campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign house. I ain't gonna lie. The safe house. 
I'm gonna skip the campaign. I'm not gonna cap. We also had that in Black Ops Cold War, but this time we wanted to think a little bit more of that construct, and then instantly it opened up like, oh, if you can sprint it. Well, hold on now. Can sprint and corner to innovate and craft the most signature Black Ops experience for our players. Movement has been a consistent uh -oh. area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with Black Ops 6, we're redefining movement across the entire game. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction Whoa! and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. This unlocks <laughs> the ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full. That is so tough. That that is so tough. From the beginning, we started with you can't do this thing. Why? And then realize people actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? There you go. And instantly it opened up like, oh, if you can sprint in any direction, then you can dive in any direction. You could slide in any direction, which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so tough. It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. We truly believe that once you experience Omni movement, there's no going back. Oh my gosh. That is so tough. We also have what we're calling intelligent movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. Okay. These can be enabled in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Sprint assist, mantle assist, and crouch assist. Mm. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Intelligent movement really started with this idea that we want all players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. Oh my gosh. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni Movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. This game is going to be so tough, bro. We looked at other genres like racing games where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking Ooh. that thinking and applying it to our Ooh. own movement options. I don't think this is a one size fits all thing and I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. Oh. So now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. Oh. So world connectivity is this concept that players' movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. That is so tough. An example that really shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's gonna dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. That's so and tough. Since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. We are constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6. Come on now. Take cover. Our art team is super thrilled to show you the best looking characters that we've done. All right, let me, I gotta, I gotta skip this. In a this. clean, streamlined reel, but we want to ground our featuring gear. The oils on their palms as they're sweaty and running through the situations that they're in. We're paying attention to every detail. The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added. Come on. Includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Our heroes are rogue operatives and they operate outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. And it allowed us to pull a unique mix of weapons. We made sure to deliver dozens of unique attachments for every gun, and this allows the players to create a weapon to match any play style that you can imagine, all while maintaining the feel and tone of the era. 
In Black Ops 6, we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper-real, but we want to ground our effects in realism. We find real-world reference so that we can match that motion, the weight, the timing, then riff off of that and create that hyper-real look that everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. The Black Ops 6 user experience is all about focusing players on what they need when they need it, and our in-game HUD is no different. From the mini-map to the ammo widget to in-game notifications, the Black Ops 6 HUD combines some of our best designs Ooh, in a clean, streamlined experience. I like the experience. overlay. I like it. For the first time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. For instance, streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup, or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. Want to play hardcore anywhere or finally put the mini-map in the bottom left? Those are options as well. Not only does the HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. As players track that elusive challenge or target their next level unlock, Black Ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience from the lobby into combat and back, where Ooh. player progress and achievement are celebrated in a big way. Well, hold on, go back. Into combat and back. All right. What are we looking at right here? The gunsmith. One, two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So probably pick ten. We're going back to a little pick ten system. We love to see it. Where player progress and achievement are celebrated in a big way. What else do we need to watch here? player and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year for now here's some insight into our development of black ops 6 multiplayer our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature black ops multiplayer experience talk to me we focused on supporting three core play styles for launch enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move recon is all about intel and counter intel play and strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. All of our weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode. Yeah. Which we're happy to announce is returning with Black Ops 6. Come on now. Y'all knew to bring it back. A taste of MP today, but of course that means you're going to get some early details on maps. We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. We've got 12 core, 66, and four strike maps, which can be played as 66 or 2v2. What do players like? What do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane maps. We've got fast, frenetic experiences, and we have that balance with more medium size, like better for hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. Talk to me. The maps have their own stories, and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Uh-oh, talk to me nice. Ah, the good old zombies. Zombies is back, ladies and gentlemen. Round based Zombies is back, and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch, with a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to Zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode, where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so- Look at my boy, he, in, he locked in, he locked in. in. As you've heard today, the innovations in movement systems will also be coming to zombies. That means it's coming to Plus, war zone. There are many additional zombie specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round based zombies. Come be on now. For more intel coming later this year. That's what we want to see, Dagum. I've interviewed AB Mark. 
Now we know we only gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today, so make sure to mark your calendar. Wait a minute, well, now wait a minute, now wait a minute, now wait a minute, now wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I got a bone to pick with her right here. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Ain't this the shorty that introduced uh uh MW2 that trash game? Ain't she the one that did that mess? Correct me if I'm wrong now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure she did it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Shorty did it. Our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty Next on August 28th. Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops 6 in the coming months and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. Come on now. And it's not just about launch because the team is already focused on delivering a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. Dang it. Our goal on Black Ops 6 was, and still is, to make something that is- I'm kind of mad she couldn't talk about Warzone. And frankly, the most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing players to move how real people and operators move. Come on. In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige. Yes, sir. We're taking that classic system through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across our weapons, gear, operators, maps, and more, a huge push has been to hit the highest visual and audio fidelity possible. The campaign tells an all new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams that trained you. On top of that, the team is really focused on mission and engagement variety. Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of Black Ops, and hopefully, in this sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better than ever. Yes. From movement, to shooting, to footsteps, to engagement systems, to death. And last, but definitely not least, the triumphant return of round-based zombies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is so much more to share across all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th. On behalf of the entire team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Yeah, yeah, that gave me chills, yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is the game right here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is it right here, Twin. This is it right here, Twin. This is it. This is it right here, chat. This is it. This is it. Go back to that. Go back to that graphic. Go back to that graphic. That gummit. I keep missing it. Look at that graphic, chat. That mug is so tough. That mug is so tough, bro. We're going to stop it right there. Hey, if y'all love what y'all saw, I know I skipped around a little bit. Go watch the video for yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you like what you saw, appreciate you. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next reaction. In the next video, period. Peace. This game gonna be lit. <laughs> this game gonna be lit. Yo, chat. This, this mug right here, bro. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. You did what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know if y'all hearing me. I, I don't know if y'all genuinely hearing me. This mug about to be tough. That mug is about to be tough. <laughs> Black Ops 6 is going to be the best game out. I know, I know Dragon Ball Z coming out. GTA 6 coming out. Whatever 6 coming out. Black Ops 6. You hear what I'm saying? That is going to be the wave. The